weaving or my work is basically um, a metaphor of Malaysian culture. It's a combination of traditional and modern, and at the same time, I'm pairing or preserving the old and the new. They know me for the uh, for for my major series, the Alpha and Omega. Most of the weaving pieces, they are just two-dimensional uh, fabrics. But in my case, I will bring it more into wall sculpture. People will think that um, artists, we are living in our own bubble. They will think that we live in our own La La Land. And at the same time, <laughs> people will think, you know, we are a bit shabby or scruffy, I think. I don't really agree with that. I can say that it's quite irritating when people say that my work is craft. It is not craft. It is beyond that. It is enough for me when people stop and stare at my work. And sometimes you can tell, you don't have, they don't have to say anything. You can tell from their facial expression that uh, that something good is, is, is actually before their, their eyes. Of course, we have so many top artists in Malaysia. We have Dato Ibrahim Hussein, for instance. We have Dato Sharifah Fatima Zubay, for instance. But the artists that really top of the list for me personally is actually Antonio Gaudi. And we are talking about he's not really an artist. He's actually an architect. Yeah. This is a textile design, or we call it contemporary fiber art. If they still don't get it, I will invite them to come to my place and have a look. And then from there, I suppose, the process of um, understanding, the process of learning will begin from there. When the artwork really, you know, is actually before their, their eyes. It's easier that way.